Russian Railways has been working continuously to expand its portfolio of international projects. Russian Railways' foreign business strategy for the period through 2025 has been developed setting out the main areas of concentration for the company's operations abroad. The project in the Republic of Serbia is a comprehensive project in the company's portfolio. A contract between RZD International LLC, the subsidiary company of Russian Railways and Serbia Railways JSC, was signed as part of the intergovernmental agreement granting the Russian Federation state export credit to the Republic of Serbia. The contract provides for construction and electrification of one of the sections of the belgrad banshua railway line, reconstruction of the six Serbian sections of the Pan-European Transport Corridor 10, reconstruction and construction of the railway line at Staropazova Novisat and belgrad varbenetsia barth sections, delivery of Russian-made diesel trains for commuter traffic, completion of the project will result in the construction of the modern railway infrastructure, as well as an increase in train speeds up to 120 km per hour and up to 200 km per hour at some sections. The high quality of work performed provides grounds for expanding cooperation in areas to be worked out by the parties. Having completing the reconstruction of the Hassan Rajun railway section, North Korea, and the construction of the terminal at the Rajin port in 2014, the company is developing transshipping operations using the new infrastructure. The design capacity of the terminal is 5 million tons of cargo per year. Russian Railways manages Armenian Railways under the concession agreement concluded in 2008. To date, a number of investment projects to strengthen Armenian's railway technical base, develop railway infrastructure and update rolling stock have been completed. Three main railway bridges, replacing the old bridges constructed in 1898, have been built from scratch. The buildings of the main train station of Armenia have been reconstructed. Reconstruction of the locomotive and wagon depots in Yerevan and Gumri, which resulted in construction of one of the most advanced rolling stock maintenance and repair complexes in Armenia. In 2008, the Russian and Iranian railway heads signed a contract for the electrification project of the Tibriz Azeshaka railway line. The project was successfully implemented in just four years. It resulted in a significant decrease in fuel consumption, as well as increased efficiency and comfort in passenger transport. An electrification project for the 495 km long Garamsara in Chaburun railway line is currently being developed. Implementation of the project, which also includes the supply of Russian equipment and materials, will significantly increase the train speed and capacity of the line. The construction of the Rasht Astara Iran Astara Azerbaijan railway line will connect the land sections of the western branch of the International North-South Transport Corridor. Construction of the railway line would reduce travel time to 10 days, increase economic efficiency of the Trans-Caspian multimodal route, and ensure transportation without multiple trans shipments. As part of the development of cooperation in international transport markets, a new Eurasian Transport Corridor project is being developed. It's planned that the corridor would be made possible through the extension of the rail line with the 1,520 mm gauge from Corsica to Bratislava and Vienna, with construction of international logistics centers. This project would exclude overloading at connecting lines of Europe's wide gauge tracks, reducing the delivery time of goods from Europe to Asia by half from 30 to 14 days, as compared to sea routes. Together with partners from EEU countries, China and Germany, Russian railways are promoting a project for developing the Eurasia high-speed freight and passenger railway corridor. The project envisages the construction of a main line for high-speed freight and passenger carriage between China and the European Union. According to the preliminary estimates, the significant socio-economic effects of the project would be supplemented by an experimental growth of Euro-Asian transit traffic, including the switchover of e-commerce freight to the new HSM. Russian Railways' project to develop the integrated transport infrastructure in Indonesia is underway. It presupposes phased realization kilometers per hour. Integrated railway infrastructure development projects are being developed for Cuba, Argentina, Brazil, the Philippines and other countries. Russian Railways ensure seamless operation of freight and passenger services. A new phase of development and broader range of transport and logistics services have been driven by international transport corridors and increasingly larger exports from Asia to Pacific countries. 